Good evening and happy Thursday. I'm Krista Kirkjian in the First Alert Weather Center. We've seen really impressive rain totals so far. This is as of 5.30 p.m. on Thursday. These numbers still going to change because we still do have more rain in the forecast. I just want to highlight some impressive numbers. Take a look at Rocky Butte, just under 16 inches of rain. Paso over three and a half, more than that in San Luis Obispo, about three and a quarter in Pismo Beach. Royal Grande sitting right below three inches of rain. Santa Maria just over two and a half, about three and a quarter in Lompoc, three and a half in Solving. Take a look at Santa Barbara and Montecito. They've been hit very hard today for several hours. We're sitting just below six and a half inches in Santa Barbara and over eight and a quarter in Montecito. Here's a look at Ventura County. They got hit really hard overnight and into a good chunk of today. These numbers still expected to change. Take a look at Carpinteria under six inches of rain right now. Ventura about three and a half, just under six in Oxnard, just over five in Port Wyneme and just over three inches in El Rio. This is such a slow moving system. We have seen really heavy bands move over the area and it's really just taking its time. It's not really going anywhere. We have seen this live storm tracker radar on an hour loop and you can see those heavier bands really just sitting over the area. Northwestern portion though of San Luis Obispo County enjoying a nice break at this time. So we have several flood alerts that have been issued and remain in effect into tomorrow morning. So first we have a flood warning in effect until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. This is for the south coast where we can see much more rainfall between right now and 10 tomorrow morning, along with a flood advisory in effect for most of Ventura County. Again, in effect until 10 a.m. We can see widespread flooding in low lying areas, and we have already seen that. We've seen flooding of roadways, streams and creeks as well, and we are still seeing uh, we, are, we are still monitoring um, to see if we get any debris flow near the south fire in Ventura County, which is the most recent burn scar. This flood watch has been in effect for several days now, remains in effect until Friday at 4 a.m. This is for all three counties in the area because of the volume of rain we are getting within such a short period of time. So here's a look at our future track radar. We are still expecting pockets of moderate to heavy rainfall to persist until about tomorrow morning. By late tomorrow morning, early afternoon, that's when things start to slowly clear up. I'm not ruling out the possibility for thunderstorm activity either. We did see a, th a, a tornado warning earlier today in Ventura County. It was issued around 2 a.m. We didn't see any activity from that, but we can still see a few showers linger tomorrow, but as we approach the weekend, things will dry out and clear out nicely. Temperature wise, a little warmer tomorrow during the day. We're seeing upper 60s and overnight conditions will be in the 40s, especially for inland areas. Upper 60s in Buellton and St. Inez overnight in Paso. We're talking low 40s, 65 degrees in Pismo Beach tomorrow. Ventura County, we are seeing mid to upper 60s as highs for your Friday. Stay safe and stay dry. Make sure to stay indoors unless you absolutely have to be on those roads.